The next session will be workshop 13, two more markers and biochemistry, CCC, others. This session will be chaired by Dr. Cosmas Resmana, Dr. Tatsuo Kanda, Dr. Tsutomu Masaki, Dr. Kazuhiro Nouso, Dr. Spreeze. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, let's start the workshop 13 tumor markers and biochemistry, CCC, and others. I'm Nouso, I'm from Japan, and the co chair is uh, Dr. Masaki and Kanda and uh, Dr. Leishman in, in, in Indonesia. So let's start the first, uh, first uh, paper presented by Dr. Shim Chin from Mongolia. Diagnostic value of serum GPC3 in early stage of HCC. Please start. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for giving me a chance to participate in this conference, also to come in your nice country. I'm from Mongolia, Mongolian Institute of Medical Sciences. Uh, let me introduce my topic. It's a diagnostic value of serum GPC-3 protein, and especially in early stage of HCC. <clears throat> okay, in this slide, you can see the, the common cancers in the world, but you can easily see in the red box this is a liver cancer, and also Mongolian incidence and mortality rate in a liver cancer. The highest incidence and highest mortality rate in Mongolia in HCC. Also there in the table, you can easily see the, the incidence rate and mortality rate the, in per 100,000 population. If you can see the, the bottom, there is a Philippines, 11.5, but in Mongolia, this, uh, this is uh, 93.7, which means the eight times higher in the, uh, comparing the other countries. Also, there is a mortality rate is also higher than other Asian countries. Therefore, uh, we chosen the GPC-3, glipcan 3 protein. Uh, there is an issue why we sh need to search the new biomarkers. You can see the, in the slides there is only 27% of HCC patients in Mongolia diagnosed in the early stage, meaning the stage one and stage two. Is there anyone visited Mongolia? Why the early stages percentage is so low? I think if you know about the Mongolia, the very huge country and the most of population, 50% of population living outside the city, they don't have any chance to get the medical services routinely. Therefore, they, when they get the worse, any disease, they come to the city. That's, uh, the, I think, the cause of this situation. Uh, also, in Mongolia, we are using the serum biomarkers, HCC, now alpha beta protein, traditional marker. And usually, re recently, uh, we are using the GCP and L3 alpha beta protein. And therefore, we thought we have to find some markers, bio, especially biomarkers, detect the HCC in early stage. And we choose glipcan 3. Okay, there is a material and methods, very simple. We enrolled 90 participants and 30 HCC patients by 10 stage one and two, and also 30 serotic patients and 30 healthy subjects by control. 
and filled in the questionnaire and collected the samples. And we uh, conducted GPC-3 alpha heteroprotein by ELISA. There is uh, some the main uh, uh, demographic and some laboratory results. Of course, uh, there is uh, some uh, significant uh, changes, especially in HCC patients, the virus, HVB virus, HC virus, and HBV plus H delta viruses. Okay, there is a very short results. Uh, we conducted the ELISA by alpha beta protein. There is a, if we uh, get the cutoff points, 20 nanogram milliliter, there is a difference uh, between the three groups. And by the rock curve, you can easily see the sensitivity and it, by, uh, in alpha beta protein, it's uh, very low, only 43.3, and specificity is 95%. A total accuracy was 77 uh, and point cent. About uh, GPC-3, if we got the uh, cut point, 457.2 picogram ml, there was uh, some differences within the, all these three groups. HCC group was 658 plus minus more than 100, and LC group is uh, 378 uh, control healthy subjects, also 356. Which means if they're comparing to the, the, all these three groups, they're significantly uh, different, differently uh, elevate the GPC-3 protein. We also uh, made the rock curve, and you can also easily see the sensitivity is uh, way high, 96.6, and specificity was 100%. Total accuracy was 98.8, which means AUC is uh, very close to the one, which means very good uh, results, uh, differences in this biomarker in HCC patients. Okay, this is the final the slide. Is my institute colleagues. Uh, we are working at Institute of Medical Sciences Mongolia. We have five departments. I come from the, one of the laboratory department. And we are very happy to collaborate any of you the, in the future, any of the research projects. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Now this paper is open for discussion. Any comments or uh, questions from the floor? Yes, please. Thank you very much for a very impressive talk. Um, I am Jaru Pong from Kankan University, Thailand. So I have a question regarding the epidemiology of the liver cancers in Mongolia. Because you show that um, the incidence is quite high. So that liver cancer include both uh, hepatocellular carcinoma and cholangeal carcinoma, or just only HCC? <clears throat> About the prevalence and also incidence, uh, more than 8,000 cases in Mongolia, total cancers. But from them, 30%, about 2,000, more than 2,000 cases in HCC. But it, I'm not an oncologist, but it's combined. Not, but the most common cancer in the liver cancer is HCC, more than, more than 80%. Okay. okay. And the second question is related to the first question, because you have shown that um, the sensitivity and specificity of GP3 is very nice. Mm -hmm. So I would ask that, um, would it be able to differentiate the other intrahepatic tumor, mm -hmm. include um, CCA, carcinoma, and also the other metastatic tumor? Have, have you analyzed that? Okay, thank you so much for your question. We're also working on it. This is uh, the first pilot study we chose in the, because the HCC is the most common, we chose in the HCC first, and now we are conducting the next level, the projects working on that. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yes, thank you so much. Please.
Thank you, Enomoto from Osaka Metro. And if you have GCP3 positive and Azamaka negative patient, did, did, you, um, did you find any characteristics of these patients? Uh, unfortunately, there was a no uh, positive correlation in other characteristics, especially like clinical characteristics and other lab uh, alpha beta protein. There was a no uh, positive relationship. And histopathology, there was a no relationship. Maybe we have to work on that. No, no. Mm. I mean, mm. you may have some patient mm. with this uh, group cancer three positive mm. and other maga negative patient. D don't you have? Yeah, you, I understand your question. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. And uh, if you seen the uh, the poster presentation the, um, yesterday, we also performed the one poster presentation which. Uh, perform the immunohistochemistry in the liver tissue. In that case, it's a two different project. In that project, there was a, if the alpha beta protein is negative, uh, GPC3 was positive. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, please. So I'm Sakamoto from RUHW Japan. An excellent talk. So did you see any difference between hepatitis B and hepatitis C virus cases for Greek can 3 elevation? Yes, uh, most common cause of HCC in Mongolia is the virus infection, especially the HBV. Yeah, hepatitis uh, B, but yeah. you included hepatitis yeah. C but, cases. This yeah, time. but there was a no relationship. No difference? No, no differences in the, what depends on virus. Oh, I see. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and how about the, did you check the histology of the tumor, tumor mm. differentiation? Mm. Well differentiated, moderately differentiated, poorly differentiated, how about that? Yeah, in this case, yeah. we, did, uh, we didn't check. We just collected yeah. the serum blood samples. Yeah. And the post session, this is a different project, we collected also the histology yeah, samples yeah. and did immunohistochemistry. In that case, because of the sample size, there was no different, uh, differences, maybe, I think so. We will conduct, uh, we will continue the, this project, maybe there will be some differences. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. I think the accuracy is quite high, very high, unexpectedly high. <laughs> but um, I noticed that in patients with HCC, the reason for HCC is HPV, HB virus, and HD virus co infection. Many of them has mm. HDV. So, mm. are there any correlation uh, between the GP3 expression and the presence of uh, hepatitis D virus? Okay, thank you so much. And also, we are working on it. This, uh, the second project is an uh, ongoing project right now. And we all, uh, already collected the blood samples. In this, maybe we will, we will check, and the next year we will uh, get the paper for this. OK, yeah. thank you. So any comments from the, uh, Professor Lisma, Lismana? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, Dr. Samchen's uh, very nice uh, presentation. Uh, congratulations. So, uh, one question uh, did you try to compare uh, with the pifka 2 the the tumor marker i mean uh, to see because uh, nowadays uh, we use also the pifka 2 for early detection of the hcc okay thank you so much for your question about the pifka 2 just so uh, Nowadays in Mongolia, PIFCA2 is testing the, some private laboratory, not in the public hospital. In this meaning, uh, in this case, we didn't compare the PIFCA2. Uh, we also prepared the PIFCA2 in the next time. Thank you so much. Okay, any other questions? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much once again. Now the presenters of 13.2 is not there, so we move on to the third ones. Uh, Dr. 
Al Khatib uh, from Egypt. Uh, the title is uh, The Bile Level of Site Keratin 7 as a Diagnostic Marker for Cholangio Calcinoma. Please start. No. <laughs> yes, please start the, your lecture. Hello, it was on the uh, recorded one and I have sent it to you. Oh, can you more a second, share it again? Oh, it's yours. Please start. Thanks for accepting my presentation. I will talk about the bile level of cytokeratin 7 as a diagnostic marker for cholangic carcinoma. I have nothing to declare, and this is my affiliation. As we know, cholangic carcinoma is a very heterogeneous and aggressive tumor, whose prognosis till this moment is very bad. It may be related to many factors. First one is that challenging accurate diagnosis. We have an only two options to diagnose glandular carcinoma. First, serum or plasma markers like carbohydrate antigen, T99, which is a less sensitivity, and the pathological diagnosis, which relies mainly on an invasiveness maneuver and cytokine level of uh, 7 or 19 to confirm our diagnosis. Moreover, we have a late presentation, usually at a difficult to treat stage or difficult to treat complications such as a malignant obstructive joint. All these items contribute to or energy the need to have a new alternative diagnostic biomarker to save this patient. So our aim in, uh, in this study is to detect and check the uh, role of cytokine 7 as a diagnostic biomarker for glandular carcinoma. We enrolled 100 subjects of uh, patient to 30 with a cholangio confirmed cholangio carcinoma and 30 at the control and equal group of uh, uh, one of the common complications such as uh, malignant obstructive jaundice and benign obstructive jaundice. We managed to collect the sample and uh, during ERCB for the first three groups and for control group during colostomy or uh, donation for a liver. Some were, were analyzed using ELISA technique. When we check our results, you found that most of our uh, subjects are male with an average um, age of uh, 57. All of cholangio carcinoma are a very high level one. And for the group of malignant obstruction, we have a 12 subject diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and it with cholangio with a vascular carcinoma. When we analyzed the bile level of cytokeratin 7, it was interestingly very high at cholangio carcinoma, nearly 100, 1,500, and this level decreased to one third in another uh, obstructive jaundice, either malignant or, uh, or benign. And as we see in the control group, it's very little. When we get more deeper in this malignancy, type of malignancy, uh, and comparing it with the C99, we still have higher in plunge carcinoma compared to HECC or pancreatic cancer. It was not only to confirm a diagnosis with the uh, bile sample, it also helped us to confirm the type of malignant obstruction as one of the common complications is obstructive jaundice. They see in 99 and even see cytokeratin were higher in malignant obstruction compared to benign obstruction, but C99 show me moreover reacting to obstruction, which may be uh, showing a thumb bias. At the cut point of 1,000, uh, see cytokine uh, level of uh, in the bile show uh, 100 in sensitivity and dispositivity. Uh, we'll find the 40 in 99, the sensitivity is uh, nearly about 93 and 95 for specific respect. Uh, at one of the common uh, association with uh, obstructive illness is the presence of infection, cholangitis. 
So we, uh, our subject had um, nearly more than 50 percent of cholangitis. So we uh, reallocated the subject according and certified them according to the presence and absence of cholangitis to check if we still have a good biomarker or no. And and we found it really that the cytokine seven remained an excellent one uh, for diagnosis of cholangiocarcinoma in non cholangitis associated CEE. On the other hand, the CE99 have more reacting to infection with a twofold increase in persistence of infection. So to conclude, the bilevel of cytokine 7 can be an, a, a new diagnostic biomarker to help diagnosis of cholangiocarcinoma. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Now this paper is open for discussion. Any comments or questions from the floor? I think the, the accuracy is very good. The AUC is 1.0. It's unbelievable. But the, what, uh, what is the size or the stage of the uh, coronal angiocarcinoma? number? The stage, most of them are metastatic. No, metas me metastatic? Oh, uh, metastatic. I see. Message. It's, it's oh, yeah. advanced stage, right? Yeah, advanced stage. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you very much for a very impressive talk. I'm Jalu Pong from Thailand. So um, I'm curious about the uh, cytokeratin 7 that you have detected. Is this protein is in the soluble form in the bile, or is this the membrane bile in the um, cholangio carcinoma cells? Sorry, can you repeat your question again? Um, the cytokeratin 7 that you have detected. Is this membrane brow in the cancer cells, or is this soluble in the bile? No, it's soluble in the bile. Okay. It's normally so, found in the in the, in the cholangiocyte and it's secreted in the bile, so we can get it from the bile samples. Okay. So, do you think it could be detected in the serum instead of the bile because it's less invasive if you would like to use for the diagnosis? I think it is treated from the cell, so the, the nearest biofluid near the cells is uh, the bile. So I don't know if it can be in the circulation or no, I haven't uh, checked for it before. Okay, thank you so much. Any other question? Do you have any comments, Dr. Lishman? Lishmana? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, congratulations, uh, the Akatik for a very nice uh, study. Uh, just uh, wondering that uh, whether you uh, try to uh, stratify the the stage of the disease, or I mean, I think like uh, the severity of the cancer uh, regarding the the CK uh, seven or. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have stratified it according if they are metastatic or no. Uh, wow. Not according to the stage one or two or three. And it was there was a difference between the two stage. CK was a higher significant and uh, and metastatic uh, subject. Okay, but the this uh, all the patient uh, is the all the including the intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma or is only the inside the, the bile duct uh, cholangiocarcinoma, I mean for the CK7? All or my subjects were very high LAR1, so I have no, no subject to with uh, intrahepatic, yeah, because they, they, the main representation is obstructive zombies, so I, I, I see them in, in your CB as they um, coming to uh, elevate the obstruction, so most of them, uh, all of them are very high LAR1. Okay. So I mean, uh, because in intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma is uh, sometimes more patient also uh, also accompanied by the uh, very dark uh, dilatation. So you think that it's also as a role in the diagnosing in the for the intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma case, or you haven't? Yes, uh, yes, I yes, I think so. Yes, I think so. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other question? If no, let's move on to the next paper. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>
Uh, workshop 34 uh, speaker uh, does not come and uh, then we will skip this uh, title and uh, next speaker is Hiroto Ota, Gastroenterology, Juntendo University, Tokyo, Japan. His title is Efficacy of New FP Therapy for Unresectable Advanced Intrahepatic Cholangioma. Cholangiocarcinoma. Thank you for kind Please. introduction. Uh, today I will talk about efficacy of new FP therapy for unresectable advanced intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. We have nothing to declare for this study. Uh, this threshold background, evaluation of the effectiveness of systematic chemotherapy for intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma was not well studied because of few reports with small sample size. The standard regimen for advanced cholangiocarcinoma is gemstabine and cisplatin. Hepatic artery infusion chemotherapy was reported as effective treatment for ICC. In Japan, new FP has been introduced as a treatment for hepatocellular carcinoma with good result. This is a detail of new FP therapy. A new FP New FP therapy has uh, used repeodol for immersion with cisplatin. This is the dif most difference point comparing conventional hike. Uh, this slide shows the benefit of new FP therapy for HCC comparing sulafenib. Uh, this figure shows MST of each treatment uh, new FP is more longer than sulafenib. Uh, recently, new FP was indicated for ICC in our institution. I present one case. The patient di was diagnosed as unresectable ICC. Uh, as you can see, the tumor progressed on left rope so we tried to use new FP therapy, six courses. After then, the CT find shows shrunk enough. So we tried to do conversion and surgery. A segmentectomy was performed. The specimen shows hybridization and necrosis and mm -hmm. Viable tumor remains only 30%. Then we conducted retrospective viral study to evaluate the efficacy and the safety for unresectable ICC. This slide shows method. A study design is single center retrospect chart review study. A patient who had unresectable ICC treated with new FP or GC. ICC was diagnosed by imaging with or without pathological confirmation. A period is March 2015 to March 2023. Primary endpoint is anti-tumor effect. Secondary endpoint is overall survival and adverse event and tumor volume reduction. <clears throat> this slide shows patient characteristics restricts. There is only difference with gender. This slide shows best response in resist evaluation. Comparing each treatment, uh, new FP is more higher PR rate than GC group. And 20% of new FP patients had conversion surgery. This slide shows tumor volume reduction. As you can see, the new FP is more better tumor volume reduction than GC group. So we think local tumor control was excellent in new FP therapy. This slide shows progression free survival. Uh, new FP is more longer than GC group, but there is no dif significant difference. As the same uh, about overall survival in the new FP group is more longer than GC. 
This slide shows adverse events. In the new FP group, a major adverse event is river enzyme elevation. But there is all of them was improved within one week. In the new HEPI group, uh, four patients has discontinued due to adverse event. Uh, detail is Jardians and pyroma and two renal dysfunction. Otherwise, in the GC group, well, had discontinued due to adverse event, 10, uh, 10 people. So, <clears throat> this slide shows summary. PR rate was significantly higher in new FP group. 20% of new FP patients underwent conversion surgery. Tumor reduction ratio is higher in new FP group than GC group. PFS in new FP group was longer than GC. New FP group was significantly less likely to discontinue chemotherapy than the GC group. This slide shows the discussion. Local tumor control in UFP may be more effective than conventional treatment. Possible indication of UFP in unresectable ICC is locally advanced ICC with vascular invasion or neoadjuvant. In the future, we want to combine with chemotherapy. This slide shows limitation. Single center retrospect study this study is a study, so sample size is small. Uncontrolled treatment and evaluation schedule. Conclusion. New FP showed good local tumor control in this pilot study. Further prospective study are needed. Thank you for your attention. <clears throat> Congratulations, uh, nice result. Is there any question from audience? Uh, Professor Resmana, any comment? Yes, uh, very nice uh, study, Dr. Ota. Uh, uh, I was uh, wondering that uh, in your center, uh, maybe in, or maybe in Japan, uh, so uh, for uh, unresectable advanced intrahepatic uh, cholangiocarcinoma, you also try to compare or uh, maybe because uh, use of the immunotherapy for uh, intrahepatic carcinoma because i mean uh, in your study uh, you only compare with uh, standard uh, chemotherapy but we know now there's a study using the combining a uh, chemotherapy with uh, immunotherapy such as like uh, durvalumab. So in your center, uh, you also try to compare with uh, chemo, with immuno, and then with your new uh, innovation uh, treatment? Thank you for question. And uh, now we are, uh, first we use uh, standard chemo re regimen, and second, uh, if fail, we try to to check the onco panel. Onco panel. Hi. Miyaki Yoko. Miyaki Yoko. Hi. Miyaki Yoko. Miyaki Yoko. Miyaki Yoko. Miyaki Yoko. Miyaki Yoko. Ah, uh, hi, hi. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for a good question. So uh, actually, uh, we started to perform the uh, GCD for uh, uh, cholangiocarcinoma, but uh, still uh, not so many for the intrahepatic uh, cholangiocarcinoma. Then uh, this study, the, uh, we cannot uh, include the such kind of the uh, new treatment. But uh, uh, actually, we uh, started to perform the uh, such kind of therapy. and. Uh, uh, we want to uh, make a, a new regimen, so combine the uh, GCD plus uh, this uh, uh, local therapy uh, in near future. It's my answer. Thank you, thank you, Sayama. I have one question, and according to your study, that you choose, you will choose uh, new FP regimens instead of GC. 
as a first line therapy for current ICC. Is that correct? Yes. I see. <clears throat> You observed the several adverse events and stop the uh, these drug. Uh, those patient did those patient recover? No, not to recover because uh, most, uh, the originary renal dysfunction has patient. So ah, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice talk. And the six, uh, uh, support and uh, implementation system for clinical cancer uh, research at the prefectural uh, 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 designed uh, regional uh, cancer center and hospital. Uh, Dr. Amemia, please. Dr. Amemia, please. My presentation title is Support and Implementation System for Clinical Cancer Research at Design Hospital for Cancer Genomic Medicine at the Prefectural Designated Regional Cancer Hospital. There is no COI in this study. The Yamanashi Prefecture Central Hospital, situated in the heart of Yamanashi Prefecture, west of Tokyo, serves as a primary healthcare facility for the region. It offers a wide range of medical services, including advanced cancer treatment to meet the needs of the local population and keep pace with medical advancement. In October 26, YCH was designated as a prefectural regional cancer hospital. Since then, we have registered nearly 29,000 cancer cases in the cancer registry system. In Yamanashi, a dedicated cancer center was not initially in place. However, in response to the challenge of our aging society, which has led to the increased likelihood of cancer among those with conditions like diabetes and cancer heart disease, it became more advantageous for general hospital to incorporate cancer care. Therefore, in 2013, we established the Ambulatory Therapeutic Cancer Center and Genomic Analysis Center. Since the establishment of the GAC, we have actively conducted genomic research and treatment to the enhanced patient care. These variable cancer registration data are managed by dedicated full-time staff trained in cancer registration and statistical analysis, including Kaplan-Meier Hub. This information is accessible to all staff and is highly valuable for both clinical and research. This Kaplan-Meier curve is divided into five periods of data from 26 to 2022. HCG data is shown in the upper right corner. Next, I will show the GSC established in 2013 and the clinical research support system focusing on genomic analysis. At GSC, we can analyze various cancer tissues and liquid biopsy samples using NGS. Importantly, we've streamlined the process. After obtained informed consent, a seamless cost-free order system for blood sample and tissue specimen can be initiated with a single click in the electronic medical record. We can analyze rapidly with seamless collaboration between pathology division and the clinical department. Additionally, our dedicated staff all located on the same floor, manages DNA extraction, sequence analysis, and subsequent secondary statistical analysis, ensuring the streamlined workflow. Genomic testing with the Japanese National Health Insurance is also performed at GSC. The obtained IC is strictly managed by our dedicated cancer registry staff and the IC status can be readily verified within the electronic medical record. 
genome analysis order is anonymized by our data management team before starting analysis at GAC. In our outpatient clinic, blood samples are efficiently corrected with full cooperation from our blood correction room, while in the inpatient setting, not collaborate with the blood correction process. GAC and ATGC are located on the ninth floor of the hospital with a very nice view. The number of obtained IC were over 9,200 patients from 2013 to September 2023, of which included 315 HCC cases. Clinical and genomic information management at GAC is indicated this slide. There are three full-time staff at Cancer Registration Department. GAC has Bain authentication, self-locking system, and access management blog. Clinical information was stored, electronic medical record server, isolated from external network. Genomic information is also stored at local network server, isolated from external network. Clinical sample preservation system of fresh tissue is cooperate with pathology department. Pathologists extract specimen biomedical laboratory science is numbering and store them. We preserved 1,007 frozen samples. Liquid specimen are collected either in the blood collection room or medical doctor and nurse. These samples are centrifuged and separated into precipitant and supernatant. As shown in the slide, the total number of specimens is over 40,000. 40, Details of samples are shown on the slide. By FY 2022, we analyzed over 14,000 samples, leading to the publication of 103 peer review papers. Furthermore, these findings have been shared at 365 academic conferences related to the genome analysis, establishing a system for both research and clinical study. Furthermore, CGP has been nationally reimbursed in Japan since June 2016, especially designated core hospital for CGP, hub hospital for CGP, and corporate hospital for CGP are authorized to conduct CDP testing with around 250 hospitals. In 2019, YCH became a corporate hospital for CDP and in April 2023, it was selected as one of the 32 hub hospitals for CDP in Japan. The selection of the regional prefecture hospital is rare. It is indication of the recognition of our achievement at the GAC. I will present the trend in the number of CGP tests. We observed a substantial increase in testing since become a hub hospital for CGP. We plan to continue actively promoting cancer genomic medicine and play a central role in Yamanashi Prefecture Healthcare. Next, I will show some data about HCC. We analyzed approximately 350 samples from 200 patients, including both single and multiple tumor. HCC is commonly multiple tumor operant, distinguishes between intrahepatic metastasis and multicentral recurrence in challenging in clinical settings. We address this issue through genomic analysis. We use in-house HCG panel covering the excellent region of the 72 genes. The on-site cost of session is rated for effectiveness of genomic analysis distinguished from the ISDC, not that of traditional challenges and critical judgment. Next, I will present data from genomic analysis categorizing multiple occurrence HCG cases into MC and IM and examining their RFS and OS. Genomic analysis of 30 cases with multiple occurrence identified 
20 as MC and 9 as M. The prognosis after resection demonstrated significantly better for MC cases in both RFS and OS. When evaluating tumor states after recurrence, MC cases exhibit fewer recurrences. Genomic analysis of post recurrence sample further confirmed a higher MC cases. Conclusion Analyzing the cancer genome provides a guiding path for its treatment, benefiting the patient. It is important to strengthen the support system for clinical cancer research as a hospital for cancer genomic medicine and prefecture designated regional hospital for patients. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for a good presentation. Uh, any question from floor? Uh, well, not question, one, one comment. Uh, 10 years ago, I thought that uh, genetic uh, analysis research can conduct only medical university. Uh, however, uh, you, Dr. Amemia, and your team performed uh, perfectly uh, such system. So that uh, I have uh, read many uh, papers uh, published from Yamanashi uh, Central uh, Hospital. No doubt uh, you and your team uh, is a top runner in this area in Japan. Uh, uh, it is a very uh, wonderful system and uh, in, in a short time, uh, you and uh, your team uh, performed uh, this uh, uh, this system. Thank you. I, I'm very happy to, and I hope it will spread to other hospitals in Japan. Uh, Dr. Resmana, uh, are there comments? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Masaki. Uh, yeah, very, very nice. Uh, I mean, uh, informative uh, uh, presentation, Dr. Amemia. Uh, one uh, question. Uh, so with this kind of uh, new uh, supportive uh, system, uh, I just would like to know that uh, whether it's uh, influence or change in the uh, treatment strategy in Japan, maybe in the future or now, and also whether this is also a uh, uh, influence. I mean, regarding the the patient uh, survival. Yeah, I mean after the treatment, maybe in your center experience. Look down, please. Look down, disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, good, be, uh, very good uh, for the uh, comment. 
Dr. Desmana. Dr. Amemia have disappeared. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is, uh, uh, it is a limitation of time. Uh, and we uh, call, uh, we have closed uh, this uh, uh, workshop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, chairs and lectures.